Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, can we hold a moment of silence for the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, and the iPhone 8 Plus? Today, Apple has released the last major update for these devices, iOS 16.6. Now, this software update is sort of sad to see the iPhone 10 just go, right? It's kind of crazy to think this iPhone that changed so much from the aspect of the operating system to the phone itself, no home button, gesture-based operating system, changing Siri to the side, a lot happen with the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, and this is basically the end of it. So it's sort of sad to see this happen, but iOS 16.6 is actually an extremely important update in terms of security. We'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. Uh, now, I also want to talk about something else that Apple has announced today. For those interested, Apple Vision Pro Developer Kit, you can apply today. It is now available, Vision Pro, the next era of spatial computing. Again, links will be in the description down below for that now aside from ios 16.6 apple has also updated the ipad with ipad os 16.6 mac os 13.5 watch os 9.6 tv os 16.6 is available for those devices not running ios 17 betas now i also want to talk about the iphone 7 this iphone is about eight years old and i know i'll probably get a lot of hate for saying this but this is the reason why apple is better than having an android device because today apple has also released a new update for this iphone it is not yet populating but according to apple's website apple has released ios 15.7.8 and ipad os 15.7.8 to allow these devices to have the same security patches as devices running iOS 16.6. Now, I said that this update is very, very important in terms of security, but in terms of features, there's really not a whole lot to talk about here, but there's over 25 security patches happening with iOS 16.6 and the latest iOS 15.7.8. In combination, there's 25 security faults being patched here, and I'm happy that Apple continues to deliver security updates for older iPhones. I guess they recognize that a lot of users use them for maybe maybe FaceTime, maybe listening to music, so they continue to deliver security patches for iOS 15 devices and iOS 16 devices. Now this one comes in at approximately four to five gigs, simply overriding the entire operating system. iOS 16.6 is basically the same one as we talked about a few days ago, the release candidate. It's the same build as today, now available to the general public. And I just wanted to mention that if you're running iOS 16 and you're not running iOS 17, make sure you update to iOS 16.6, over 25 security issues being patched here, as well as older devices on iOS 15. I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. Thank you for watching, saying goodbye to iPhone 10 forever, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.